today we'll study active band pass filter and we'll evaluate low cutoff and high cutoff frequency of band pass filter pass band gain of band pass filter and finally we'll plot the frequency response of band pass filter so we need a band pass filter active band pass filter we have a kit in which we have a high pass filter and a band low pass filter by making interconnection between these two we can make a band pass filter in order to provide input we need a function generator we need a multimeter for uh, measuring resistance values also we need an oscilloscope for observing various waveforms so before starting let us understand what is cutoff frequency of low pass filter what is cutoff frequency of high pass filter the cutoff frequency of low pass filter is given by 1.2 pi rc the values are governed by these resistance and capacitor and cutoff frequency of high pass filter is governed by these uh, uh, components uh, this capacitor and this resistance so first of all we'll measure the value of resistances with the help of a multimeter so we'll set this resistance of low pass filter to 1.5 kilo ohms this will provide us a high low pass filter cutoff frequency equal to 10 kilohertz and high pass filter cutoff has to set at 1 kilohertz for that we adjust this knob so that we can get a resistance value of 15.9 kilohertz so after measuring this these resistances we will make connections of power supplies of operational amplifiers we will connect minus 12 volt and minus 12 volt points of uh, operational amplifier both the amplifiers and minus 12 plus 12 volt points of both the amplifiers by common patch and this plus 12 volt is connected with plus 12 volt power supply here okay this minus 12 volt is connected with minus 12 volt now we have provided the power supply to the operational amplifier and now we will provide input to the circuit the input is coming from uh, coming from uh, your function generator we can connect at this point and negative terminal is connected at this ground point and high and low pass filters are interconnected the output of high pass filter is connected with the V in point of the low pass filter and in order to observe the output we connect V out point of low pass filter with the channel 2 of the DSO so in this way we have made the connections now we'll take the readings we'll start with some lower value say 100 hertz and go up to some 30 kilohertz so let us start with the lower values we'll set this at Hundred hertz input. We are providing hundred hertz input. From uh, here, you can observe that we are getting this as input. This as output. We'll record this in our table. The input frequency is one zero two hertz, and input voltage is equal to two point zero nine volts. Output is three point one volts. 
So in this way, the dB gain is equal to 3.42. Now we'll increase this input frequency by varying this knob. Now suppose we'll take at this particular value and we'll measure the input and output as the input frequency is 654 654 hertz and uh, input peak to peak is 2.05 volts output peak to peak is 5.95 volts so db value is 9.255 now we'll increase the frequency uh, say we'll go up to One kilohertz. This is one kilohertz. Uh, you can see the uh, waveforms of input and output at the SO display. The input is e at 996 hertz, and input voltage is 2.09 volts. Output voltage is 6.9 volts. In this way, we get 10 dB of gain. Now we'll again increase the frequency. Input frequency, say at some uh, at this moment, the input is four point one five kilohertz. So this is four one five zero and Input voltage is 2.05 volts, output is 8.6 peak to peak, so the gain is 10.73. Now we will further increase the input frequency and we will observe what will happen at the output. Say we are taking this value. Uh, at 7.86 7.865 hertz the input is 2.09 and output is 7.2 volts In this way the gain is 10.74 again we will increase the input frequency by rotating this frequency variable now say at this particular frequency 10.34 we are getting output like this we will record this value 10.306 10.306 uh, at this moment the input is 2.05 volts and output is 7.2 volts 7.2 volts so is 10.9 Further, we will increase the input frequency. Say, uh, we will increase the frequency at say 16. Uh, at 16 kilohertz, 16.5998 kilohertz. 16.559. Nine eight. We have input as two point zero five volts and output as five point eight volts. So the gain is nine point three three. Again, we'll increase the frequency. Say at. 45 kilohertz around 45 46 kilohertz and we'll observe the output say at 46.36 kilohertz 4636 46.36 kilohertz we will get input uh, as 2.05 volts and output as 3 volts so gain is 
in this case. Again, we can increase the frequency and we can observe the variation in the output. So, after increasing this frequency with the help of the frequency variable now, say we are working at some value. This value. At this particular moment, the frequency is 94.7 kilohertz. 94.7 kilohertz. And at this moment, the input is 2.05 volts. Output is 2.93 volts and in this way the gain is 3.11. So with the observation of this table you can observe that the output is uh, initially the output is increasing and it is constant somewhat constant up to some frequency and after that it is decreasing. So this is the behavior of a band pass filter. So in this way we have correct analyzed a band pass filter characteristics. Thank you very much. So in this way we have obtained gain data like this. Now we will uh, observe the characteristic of uh, this band pass filter. Uh, the characteristic is plotted with respect to input frequency and gain. And here you can observe that at lower frequencies the gain is increasing up to some certain point and after that it is almost constant up to some certain point and after this point the gain is again decreasing. So this kind of characteristic is very similar to the characteristic of a band pass filter. So in this way we have verified the band pass characteristic of a active band pass filter. Thank you very much.